thanks for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Listen, it's really, it's really important for you to do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button because here's what's happening to me. Um, because the channel is so new, I can only upload 15 minutes at a time. And this recipe actually came out to 17 minutes. So I chopped it up as much as I could for you to you know not have any dead space or anything inside but it still came out to 17 minutes so i had to split it up and make a part and you know split it up and have part one and part two so since i did that um left me with an extra couple of minutes so let me just use a couple of those minutes and tell you what's on my mind you know real quick what's been on my mind lately is you know actions speak louder than words you know those sayings that saying right there is one that we really got to pay attention to now. You guys pay attention to that really, 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 really and truly. Um, when a person's action doesn't line up with their words, just forget about their words. You know, if they're being truthful and honest with you, then their actions will definitely line up with the words all the time. So whenever the actions don't line up with the words, don't, 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 just don't, just disregard the words completely. And you know you can use that in every everything you hear and see right use that in everything you hear and see so if your groceries your, your, your grocery guy is telling you that they have the best deals in town but when you go in the store uh, the, the actions don't speak you know when 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 a grocery store is telling you that they have the best customer service and, and you go in there and customer service is not on point forget about those words same thing when you know when your government tells you you know uh, xyz but they're not following those actions don't i mean don't even don't listen to the words when the salesman tells you that he's getting you the you know that he's getting you the best deal but you know for a fact that joe blow down the street got a little bit better of a deal the, the actions make the actions line up with the words you know and if they don't line up don't forget about the words forget about the words all right let's get into the video man hope you enjoy this recipe oxtail white rice butter beans yeah good stuff come on let's go first thing first thing we're gonna do is wash your hands don't even play with it make sure you wash your hands before you do anything else You're gonna get your meat. I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar, add some water. Not enough to where it's gonna overflow out of your thing. Just make sure you have enough room that you have enough water, cover your meat, and be able to get your hands in there and wash your meat without splashing water all over your kitchen. I really don't know how you would be splashing water all over your kitchen doing this. But the reason why the CDC does not want you to wash your meat is because they say that you'll be splashing all over the place. So what you do is just make sure you're not splashing. You should be fine. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna rinse. Rinse all of that unwanted bacteria off. Anybody that I'm gonna be eating from washes their meat. Um, but people, some people don't wash their meat. I grew up on washing my meat. I'm never gonna stop. All right, now that that's nice and washed, ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add black pepper. No more than about a half a teaspoon, really to, to taste. I'm gonna go in now with my Larry Caesar salt. So a little bit more than the black pepper, probably about three quarters, three quarters of a, um, a tea. Full teaspoon of onion powder. Uh, give it a teaspoon and a half, why not? This is three pounds of oxtail we're working with right now. About five pimento seeds, whole pimento seeds. I'm going in with garlic. About a teaspoon and a half. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of adobo. A dash of complete season. A little bit more garlic. Because <laughs> garlic makes everything better. And now I'm gonna go in with the Maggie. Chicken stock I'm using, I'm not using the beef stock. I prefer the chicken stock to the beef stock. Even though it's oxtails I'm making, which is a technically beef, but prefer the taste of the chicken stock better. Again, up to you. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and give that a good mix. Okay. Now, so now I'll go in with a full onion, fresh thyme, about five sticks of fresh thyme. I've got three cloves of garlic. Remember, garlic makes everything better. So you want to spend a little bit of time with your garlic. When I, <laughs> when I chopped the garlic, before I chopped the garlic, I crushed it because when you crush your garlic, it's gonna release more flavor than just simply slicing it up. So I crushed the garlic first and then I slice it up and then a full tomato. And from the garden, green onions. Give that all a nice stir together. Some people would go in with some brown and seasoning um, brown and sauce, you can pick this up at your local Jamaican restaurant. You can pick it up at um, supermarket these days, pretty much any supermarket, depending on your location, if you have a lot of islanders in your area. Uh, I am not going to be using the browning seasoning. I'm going to be making my own. And the reason being, when they make this browning, it's just caramel, it's just burnt sugar. But when they brown their sugar to make this, they make it as dark as they possibly can. And I don't know if you've ever burned sugar or not, when the more you burn the sugar, it takes on a bitter kind of a taste. So this has a bitter kind of a taste to it. So that's why I don't like to use this. I like to burn my own sugar and stop burning it right before it starts to get bitter. So I'll show you how we do that next. Pay attention guys, because this is gonna go real fast. You could use any type of sugar you want. I'm using today, I'm gonna to use a natural sugar. You can use brown sugar, white sugar, whatever. Or you can simply skip this part of the process and use browning um, to, to, to get your color. Stove on high. I have a cup of water sitting ready. And I'm using three pounds of oxtail. So today I'm gonna to go in with two tablespoons of this sugar. Stove is on high, no water, no oil. Dry pot, stove is on high. You just wait. Pay attention, because when this happens, it goes very fast. Now, if you're gonna use this method, the only thing I want you to do is pay attention to when the sugar starts to melt. Because once the sugar starts to melt, it's gonna melt very fast and it's gonna turn brown even faster and it's gonna go from burnt from it's gonna go from brown to burnt in a matter of no time so you really want to pay attention and like i said i already have my cup of water ready so as soon as i get this to the color that i want i'll add the water to stop the burning process see how it starts to melt you see how it melts then it turns brown you see how it's turning brown around the edges you see that? So I'm just gonna go in with my spoon and I'm just gonna give it a, cause I want it to all, I don't want a part of this burning before the rest of it is as brown as I want it. Now, like I said, this is the crucial point right here. How dark do you want your meat? How dark do you want the color of your of your food. I want mine about that dark. Remember, I only put a splash of this water in here. I had a cup of water and I still have the majority of the cup of water. Just put enough to stop the, um, the burning process. Now I'm gonna add my meat. And what I'm doing when I'm adding my meat is that I'm just literally adding only the meat. All of these onions and stuff i don't want to add this as yet i really didn't want to leave anything out and i don't want you to leave anything out when you're preparing this so please follow all the steps and um enjoy enjoy because i promise you this is a really good recipe like i said before you can technically you're doing the same thing yourself but if you use the browning seasoning you're going to end up with a bit of a, a bitter flavor in some people what they do is they put ketchup to counteract that bitter flavor but if you just burn the sugar on your own you have a lot more control you don't have to use the ketchup which i just don't like the idea of putting ketchup in in food mommy never did it 
I, uh, I just don't, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's ketchup. That stuff goes on hot dogs and hamburgers, stuff like that. Ketchup, I mean, french fries, stuff like that. If you made it this far, I guess you're enjoying the video and I would really love for you to try this recipe. So I can only load, upload 15 minutes at a time. Otherwise, you would have just one flowing video. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button right down below. Um, like, comment, those things help the algorithms move move along, move the, uh, the channel along, and you know get the videos in front of more people. So I really appreciate everybody that does that. And I hope to see you on part two, thanks.